What I would say hustle is to me is that when you have passion around something that you are squeezing every last bit of the juice out of the orange, right? To me, hustle is maximizing the energy you're putting into somebody. I'm blown away by people saying that they're hustling and they want to achieve these great things and then their actions don't match, right? So to me, hustle would be putting all your effort into achieving the goal at hand and for me that means making every minute count. Hustle is putting it all on the line. Hustle is waking up one day, the day before you die and realizing you gave it your all into the parenting of your children, the building of your businesses, the philanthropy that you wanted to do. Whatever you define, it's just you know, all in, emotionally and executionally, in theory and strategy and in execution. Where I got my work ethic from was the hours I had to spend learning this. When you sit down and you're not smart, and you have a disability, and you still want to be at the top of your class, I didn't want to just get by. When I realized that I can learn through hard work, and I can beat the valedictorian in school, but I got put in 10 hours more a day than he does. You know what kind of strength comes from that? When you're sitting down, that guy, that valedictorian study for an hour, and you know I caught you. I caught you, but I have the work ethic to catch you. That's where David Goggins got really invented, was at a kitchen table with 20 spiral notebooks that were empty. And then three months later, they were full. And when you can go through that, I still have them in my storage unit. You go through these spiral notebooks of your life, and you realize, this is how I learned. This is unbelievable. There's no miles. It's not about the miles. It's that, having a discipline every day to say, for me to learn this one math problem, it's gonna take me 10 hours. And you realize through hard work, you can outwork anybody. I come here to remind you that there's only one thing you can do. The only thing you can do, only thing that is controllable, if you want it, if you want this, is work. Started using the word work more than the word hustle just because I want everybody to understand what we're really talking about here. Nobody you know has become successful outside of it being given to them from their family. Nobody you know has actually created success without working their face off. It doesn't exist. So you can sit and talk about luck and you can sit and talk about this, that, or the other thing, but I promise you, the only controllable thing you have is your work ethic. I implore you to start matching your work ethic and your actions to your mouth. If you're gonna be a billionaire, you need to realize that most people that create billion dollars worth of wealth don't do anything besides work every single day of their 20s and 30s. So look, you want to get your work ethic so high that people actually admire you. I'm going to ask you a question right now. Do people know you because of your unbelievable work ethic? If you can't answer yes to that, man, you're not going to get in that top 10%. you got to get at the top. You, people have to know you, not because, oh, he's a good salesman. Oh, he's a good this. Oh, he's an artist. Oh, he's a good pianist. Oh, he's a, he, he writes a great you know, story. No, dude, people need to know you for one major thing first. He works. He produces. The guy's there every day. The guy's pushing and shoving. Because the truth is, no matter how good your ideas are, how good your art is, or how good your skill set is, if you're not working, man, if you're not vibrating at a frequency that people say, my God, how does that guy do all that? If you're not vibrating at that rate, 10x levels, massive action, tremendous work ethic that's just a muscle now and it's, it's just a discipline in your life and it's a way, it's a normal way that other people think is abnormal. Ryan Seacrest, Tom Cruise, Oprah, Steven Spielberg, still pumping and working as a billionaire. Look, if you're not working at that level, you're not gonna make it. Get your work ethic in, man. It's the American way, work ethic.